hello good evening and welcome back to my channel my name is Cynthia in today's tutorial I'll be making a, a tutorial on how to cut an eight pieces skirt it's actually a gown okay this is the down part of the what the gown okay it's an eight pieces skirt so I just want us to just want to teach you guys you know I like you guys you know anything for you guys so I want this opportunity to teach you how to cut what an eight pieces skirt that's why i'm making a gown with it okay so please if today is your first time of coming to my channel you are very very welcome please give us a thumbs up okay and hit the red button below so you always get notified whenever we up, um, upload our, our videos and please so all my subscribers i just want to say thank you for always coming back for always tuning in to um watch her videos and all that so the measurement i'll be working with is a um, waist of 37.5 i'll be dividing by eight and i have 4.6 then hip measurement i'll be using 43.5 divided by eight i have um 5.4 and the length of the skirts i'm working with is um 42 okay it's 42 okay and so you need your your hip measurement your your waist your hip your knee and your what your skirt length like your six pieces skirt okay so let's dive into the class properly so okay this is my waistline here this is the hip line and this is my new line and then i have the length of my skirt okay like i said i'm using 42 inches for my length of my skirt which is around this place okay all right so um let's um start taking our measurement now to make your eight pieces skirt it's not like the way you make your six pieces skirt so it's something similar anyway but you're going to come on this area on the folded parts the folded parts because of this tutorial i will not i won't be folding this i'm supposed to be folding but i don't have enough paper but just as you is unfold okay you're going to come this way i mean the place you are standing okay you're going to take six inches on this area okay you can also work with eight inches depend on what you want okay it's not standard but I'm, i'll be taking six inches So just keep taking the six inches until I get what to the beginning. So I have my six inches now. So I'll just connect all the lines. I'll just connect my lines. That's the six inches line. So, so I've just connected the six inches line. So this is it. I just connected it. Okay. So now you have connected the six inches line. The next thing. So now we've connected the six inches line, which is, which is around this place. Okay. So now we've connected it. So from this place, that's from the new line here. Okay. From the new line, I'll just take it down to meet here okay giving us what our side flay okay like i said this six inches is not standard you can decide to use seven inches or what eight inches you can even decide to go four inches depending on what you want but i'll be using what six inches so i'm going to connect it from the new line connect it to meet what the hem So, I've just connected it. So, I hope you can see what I'm doing. So, this is it. I've just connected it, okay? From that new line, I've just connected it. So, from there, we are going to start well, taking our measurements. 
Now, if you look at this eight pieces sketch here, the center panel is just true. The two center panels is what we are doing. That's the first one. We are doing the first two um, two center panel in front. You look if you if you look at the one the picture you're seeing here, see it's straight, very very straight. So now we're going to start taking our what our measurements. So, but what I usually do here is that I use my waist only measurements, waist measurements to get this what this straight um to um the uh, the center panel. So the waist I'm working with, like I told us, is thirty seven point five divided by eight. We have four point six. So we're going to use. 4.6 so you're taking the 4.6 from this place hope you can see it we're taking the 4.6 from the waist measurement from the waist measurement you take 4.6 so the same measurement i'm going to still bring it down to the hip measurement that's 4.6 and i'll still bring it down to the new measurement we have what 4.6 Remember, I said I'm using my waist measurement. Don't forget that. Because we are trying to get the first two panels inwards in front. Okay? So this is it, okay? This is how I usually would connect it. So right now, now you're going to determine how much of the flay you want, okay? How much of the flay you want around what this was, this area. So now around this area, that around the hem part, I'm going to take um, eight inches around this hem what part, okay? So we're taking eight inches, but you can go as high as what well, ten okay you can come as low as what six depending on what you want you want but i'm taking what eight what inches there so i'll just mark i'll just mark my eight inches okay you can start to take 10 inches depending what you want you want so from this new line i'll just mark it to meet what the was the eight inches So this is my first word front words panel okay this is how it looks like okay I'm sure you understood what I did there okay if you don't understand it very well just go back and watch the video again and watch it over and over again you'll get it so this is the first two panels like what you're seeing right now so we are going to what cut it off with this we are assuming we have two of the front center words panels with this. Remember I said I'm trying to make do with the paper I have, okay? So we are cutting on fold. So if the your, if you're cutting on fold two here, so it means you're bringing two of this, which is giving you the first two words center panel. So with this, we'll draft out our words, our zipper allowance, okay? I'll also show you how to do your zipper allowance. So let's cut out now. So this is it, okay? So this is our first eight pieces what panel. So it's supposed is it's actually supposed to be two, okay? So we are cutting two of this because we have two in front of the what eight pieces what panel. So this is it. This is how straight it looks like. Look at the ones I have here, it's straight, okay? So this is what the first what two eight pieces what panel. By the time we finish. I'm going to trace out my fabric with this, put it together so you understand it what better. So this is the first two panel, okay? So we are now going to do the side, but before I do the side, I'm going to do what the what the zipper side, okay? I'll be using my fabric to fabric with this, and also we'll do our zipper. That's the back side, and add the zip so you understand it what better.
Okay, so this is the fabric I'm working with. Like I said, I have cut out myself the first front panel. So I want to show you how to cut the zipper side. That's the back side of what? Of the eight pieces for skirt. We've just done the first two center panel. Now we are about to do the second two back side what panel with zipper what allowance. So we're adding two inches for what our zipper allowance. Now to add your zipper allowance, just place your place the front this way and make sure there's a two inch uh, there's allowance around what this area so you can see what I am doing. Okay, so I'm going to take what the two inch allowance on the folded part what area. Okay, so you can see now this one is folded into two because we have a lot a uh, enough what fabric because the paper was not folded into two because we didn't have enough what fabric. So I'll be adding the two inches for my what uh, um, zipper allowance. So I'll put the two inches here. You can try to use one point five. Okay, let's use um two inches. I like more uh, much allowance on my work because I usually what fold my work inside. So I put for my turn up allowance. So two inches, two inches. So we have two inches here and then two inches around this area too. So I'm just going to connect all those ones, two inches, okay? So let's connect. Remember I said something about my allowance being 42. I hope you still remember that. I know this paper is not to 42. So placing it on the fabric I want now. I'll be using the whole of the words, the fabric. So I've just connected what my zipper allowance. I'm going to cut it out now, then you'll see it. So we're going to cut, uh, cut out what the skirts. So, and then we'll cut out the other side. So, this is the what? The back side panel of what? Our eight pieces what? Skirts. So, this is the back side. And this is the two inches for what a zipper what allowance. So now we are true with the true two front side, and then we have done the two back side that has zipper allowance using what the front side to get the back side. We are just two inches on this area to get our what a zipper allowance. Now let's do what the side. Now for the two the side the two sides of the front. And the two sides of the back will be cutting what together. We we'll cut it together. Now I have my front side laid again on a fresh new what pattern paper. We are trying to do what the two sides, the front two sides on the hip area and the, the backwards, the backwards, the back side. So how to how do we get that side now? What you need to do is to place this dead front, place it, okay? Now you're going to mark the, this is your waist, this is the hip, this is what, the nail, okay? So we are going to put the correct what, measurement, okay? We are putting the correct measurement. Now the waist you're working with is 37.5 divided by 8, we have 4.7, which is around what, here, okay? Now... Remember when the when we did the first one, we did not add any uh, any allowance. So you're going to put all your allowance on what on this what particular what panel, and uh, like you know, 
this is how I cut my own eight pieces um, skirts. Okay, um, you can see a lot of method online. Just choose any one that works best for you. But this is how I do mine. So okay, so I have four points six. So this is my four point six, and then I'm going to be adding two inches for my. I'll be adding um, two point five for my what? Allowance, okay, two point five for my allowance. Now the hip I'm working with is um forty three point five divided by eight. We have five point four. So you come to the hip area, you put your five point what four, which is here, and then I'm going to add my what two point five words allowance. So whatever I have on my what on my hip. I'm going to minus one inch from it and put it on the new. So 5.4 minus 1 is 4.4. So we're going to put 4.4 here. And then I'll add 2.5 for my what? Allowance. And then we're going to start connecting. Okay. So we're going to connect now. So I've just connected this. And then from the hip, from the hip, we connect towards the waist. So this is it. You see? Hope you can see it very well. So from here, I'll just connect what to the flay what to the flay side. So I'm just going to what connect now. Just connect it what so okay so this is it so this is our what this is our what the two what the four um side that's the two front side and the back what back side okay we cut it equally so I'm going to cut it out now then we'll trace it out and then you see the finished look I just hope you understand this better. Remember, I placed um, the first one I did, so let's trace it out first then. So with this, I'm going to use in cutting out words other word forward panel so this is what the two centers both for the front and what the back it's cut equally okay the only thing that is different there is the front is the what is the back side that has what zipper was allowance the two um, center for front and back is the same thing the back you just add your two inches allowance but the other side that is the front side and the back side they're just what the same so with this i'll trace that what with my fabric and you see so this is um the sides okay and i'm cutting out the back side and the front side what together so I'm, i folded my fabric into four to cut out all what all the sides okay okay so this are the words the panels okay but for the case of the same way so i'm using the back to what to do what the joining Okay, so I have all my panels here, but I'll join what the back so you see it looks like when I finish joining. I'll be using my pin to join it so you see what you see it's okay. And so this is the skirt. If you look closely, you see this place joined here and also here, and it's looking straight. You can see it. So this is a six uh, eight piece skirt, and then if you look at the side. You discover that there's also a side here which ended at uh, giving us a hip okay so this is it this is an eight pieces what skirt okay these are eight pieces skirts you can see the two fronts you can see the two fronts they're just straight and then the last one on the side 
so if the story was very very helpful please give it a thumbs up and also what subscribe